Hey people, guess what time it is? <laughs> it's fishing time! <laughs> All right, we're back at it again. Muddy Feet TV. We got Jeff and Jeff. And it's been a long winter. Yeah. <laughs> first day? First day of our spring trip. So, I'm glad to be at it. They've started lifting, lifting the, the bands, and we figure we can go fishing now. We got about a, what, a eight, 10 mile an hour southeast wind blowing. Tide's coming in. Had a northern blowing for the last couple of days. I say a northern little front come through and shifted the wind out of the north. We're gonna give them a whirl. We got a crab buoys up here close. Right. <laughs> crab buoys. This is here. Our bobbers are out here. <laughs> that video i posted with the live scope that was pretty cool i'm waiting for you fishing yeah yeah y'all get a chance go on muddy feet tv we'll post it right up here and uh check out he, him and a buddy of his went out uh, there on lake fork right we were lake, my first time on lake fork and i'm crappie fishing the bass capital of texas and i'm crappie fishing instead of bass fishing. well that explains a lot ed <laughs> <laughs> And, uh, they actually they caught a lot of crappie. He sends me a video and a picture of it. And I was supposed to go up to his place coming up. We, that got canceled, but I was supposed to go up to his place and I saw some were they two, two and a half pound crappie? Yeah, about five in a row. And, and, and I had some heart palpitations because the next weekend I was supposed to be up there fishing with him. I thought he caught him on the Lake Nocona where he Ooh! Sorry about that. I got I was yakking too much and I <laughs> Last time you hung me up in a, a party. <laughs> I was telling a story and I forgot to cock the bell. <laughs> Things like that happen. I'm going to go one more cast and we're going to get out of this hole. Let me finish my story about Lake Fork since I started it. <laughs> I thought we was going, I thought he caught him on Lake Dakota. He's just teasing me. They was, uh, what would you call that thing? Live scope? Live scope. They was li live scope. Live scope fishing. Muddy Feet TV channel. Whatever you call it. YouTube. And you can see them fishing on there. I called it cheating because I was jealous. We had 35 fish. And honestly, we, we cleaned fish. I had two one I had two gallon bags. I could not put another fillet in one of them. I could barely get them. Well that's pretty impressive, Tucker. <laughs> I could do that with one redfish. <laughs> I don't think so. I've caught a couple of redfish, but there's plenty of room in a gallon bag. We're going to have to show it. <laughs> sitting there last week and never never we never caught him we seen a flounder come out of the water twice on that point and uh, actually seen the fish come out of the water and we started casting that sucker we never did catch him needed some of that flounder pounder and a chartreuse bait there you go guess what ed you got hooked up? Yeah, I hooked up hooked up to something i think i finally caught one of the little black drum started talking about flounder powder and I caught a fish. <laughs> There's a plug for flounder powder. Who makes that stuff? No, they got it. He can put up a fight here at the boat now. They got it. It's a company that makes it. Oh, he come close to being a keeper. Well, we broke the ice. Got the first fish. There he is. About, I'm gonna say 14 and a quarter inch black drum. We're gonna put him back. We gotta measure him just. Friends and giggles. 
eyes off a little bit. He's 13 and 7 ace. I wouldn't have kept him even if he was 14. No. 16 inches is a good fish. Keep her not. Ah. <laughs> He's keying him in. I can just tell by the way that cork went though, it was going to You know, it, it may be turned on. We may need to go that other side and get on these, see if we can get some big ones. Yeah. They're starting to speed right now. Huh? I know it. I'm going to wait on you to lose the bait. Two spotter, four spotter. <laughs> Could have fish it on my spot. <laughs> Ed was fishing in my spot. You're on that point out there. I think this might be a little drum. Nope, little red. Get over here. That's perfect. That ought to be a red fish right there. At least some keepers now. Caught up these little ones. Another little one. We got war marks on him. Short one doesn't hit him. A whole bunch of little reds in here. These are starting to bite on my line anyway. We just need to find the big ones. Heck, I think all that we must be in the same, they must be litter mates. Every one of them is exact same size. Oh, still. Go try that. While that prime's going yeah. and if that don't do no good then we can come back here on these sandbars and fish in here yeah i didn't even see my cork going there i felt the line tighten up on this one same thing though, a little bitty old red this one was up in the grass Getting littler. Get him in. Get him.
he ain't pulled any drag. I don't know if he can pull drag. Yeah, he could. Finally pulled that flounder off that point. <laughs> Old Grommer over here. I'll let you put that on your camera. And the 14? Yeah, they were catching them 14 and a half. We gotta start putting them in the bottom. <laughs> We're gonna have to that'll rob that crab trap for something to eat after a while. <laughs> Can we boil water in them pots? <laughs> You know, that's something we ain't never done is just went and bought us a big old batch of shrimp and had this little shrimp bowl here. There he goes. Well, I, I guess it's a flounder. So it is. That fish coming to the boat. He's going to be short. Oh, you think? Nope. Sitting here watching you. No, he's shaking too much to be a flounder. Go ahead and take your fish in. Don't, don't look at mine. <laughs> don't mind me over here. That fish coming to the boat. He's a little bit short, looks like. I think I might got one too, Ed. Mine feels like it might be a little bit better. Than Oh. Hey, he's just 
14 as 14 can be. One of them pretty, pretty fillet fish. You want him? He, he, he keepers out, ain't he? Flounder. Good one too, boy. Flounder pounder. You gotta do the net, Ed. Good one. Here, put him in the net. That's my boy. That's my partner right there. That net skill. Oh, you need a keeper? He bumping 15. He fixing get out of the boat. I'd be surprised if I foul hooked him. So we're uh we're 
we're going to cut it a little bit short today. We normally say it till dark, but we're going to cut it a little short today. Tell them why. And, uh, Tell them why. Because I got up early and you got up early. Or no. you went to bed late. Because Tucker wants Mexican food. And I got up early <laughs> and Rupert had an incident last night. And he had to get up. He went to bed late. So, we're going to get us a nice meal. Go back to the house. Take a shower. Anyhow, we'll... Uh, but anyway, <laughs> uh, we're going to pick back up in the morning after we have a Bucky's breakfast taco. And who knows what we're going to get into tomorrow. We got we, we don't even know where we're going tomorrow. We, we, didn't even, we have to flip the coin. That water is higher. Yep. Yeah. All right. We'll talk to you all later.